What up, people? It's Nick Ops here, and today I want to talk about fuzzy gardening and how to beat fuzzy gardening, how to do it, everything fuzzy gardening, basically, if you don't already know what it is. Now, first thing first, what is fuzzy gardening? Fuzzy gardening is when you block one way and then block another way, depending on what character you're fighting. To be more specific about it, Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero is the prime example of this. He has a six frame gap in between his 50-50s. His low is 13 frames and his overhead is 19 frames. So initially, you want to block low then high against Sub-Zero. And if you're doing that, you're Fuzzy Garden. So what Fuzzy Garden does is it makes your defense, you know, harder to break through. Now I'm gonna be talking about how you also beat Fuzzy Garden because Fuzzy Garden is really easy to do and really and really easy to explain. It's literally you just block one way, then block another way for characters mix ups. Now that's what it specifically is. It's for mix ups. For example, Terminator's mix ups are one frame apart. You can't really fuzzy that. You're not going to sit there and fuzzy one frame. Now, there's also a three frame gap in Garrus's 1-1-1 mix up. Some people claim that they can fuzzy that, but I see people get hit by it all the time. But it definitely can be fuzzy. So, if your mix ups are over three frames, for the most part, they can be fuzzy. Now, if they're like three frames and below, they're not getting fuzzy like that. They're just not. So, let's get into like how to beat fuzzies because that's the first part we talked about, what it is. Now, the perfect example would be, I'm thinking Jade, but anybody with a high low and a double low can beat fuzzies so noob has a double low and oh wait noob is one of the exceptions because his double low is slow so if you have a quick double low and a high low your character cannot be fuzzy your brain literally does not let you look out for overhead low and high low now what i mean by high low is when a string goes high then low perfect examples of this arcano now i think about it and jay these are two characters that you can't fuzzy if the other player knows what they're doing now i personally think that that is the perfect way to design a mix-up character is to give them a slower overhead a quick low and an unfuzzyable string that's what a high low is so for example pretty sure it's this right here that right there is high low he also has an overhead and he also has a low what that basically means is you can't fuzzy Kano Kano is either gonna open you up with this the overhead or the low you can't fuzzy him your brain does not let you look out for a high low and a low and an overhead you literally can't do it it's impossible that's why they added high lows in the game well not added not sure why they added it because you know that goes way way further than me when fighting games were created but i know that's why they're there to break people's fuzzies a lot of people don't know about this stuff jade also has this as well if we switch over to her she has a matter of fact a double overhead but she has a high low string as well it's right here so since she has a low she has a low right here a high low and an overhead you can't fuzzy jade so that means if jade does one of those options you're getting opened up that's the thing about it and also something else to throw in there is a double low if they have a double low you can't fuzzy them like jackie jackie has a double low 
Double lows do the same thing as um, <clears throat> high lows, but they usually don't net you any damage. So, if you want a character that is consistently opening people up, pick somebody with a overhead low and a high low. Or, if they don't have a high low, a double low. Either one. That means that the character absolutely cannot be fuzzy. What's another character we can use? Now, Sonya is a is the example of a mix-up character designed horribly wrong. She has a unfuzzyable Hold up, this character, I can't stand this character. It's just saying it irritates me. She has a unfuzzyable string and a high overhead. She's an example of a character done wrong. Like, I actually wouldn't mind if, you know, we're not gonna get into Sonya, but that's the thing. This is a 50-50 character designed wrong, just flat out wrong, because you just have to guess two ways like there's no third way or anything it's just designs horribly wrong and it wouldn't be a big deal if she didn't get so much freaking damage but she does but shout out to all the people that still understand that this character's top five because this character has been going downplayed for has been downplayed for so long and she's still definitely top five but this is a mix-up character designed horribly wrong so yeah Another thing is if you have a character that has a high low and overhead and a low, then that character essentially is unfuzzable. Now I said that earlier, I'm just making sure I make that clear. Now, what's another character we could pick to demonstrate this more? Um well, I already talked about Jackie. She can't be fuzzy, but there's no point in talking about Jackie that much because she thrives in pressure. She doesn't thrive in the fuzzy department. So she can mix you, but there's no reason for her to mix you. Raiden, he can't be fuzzy. He has a high low and a low and an overhead. Can't fuzzy Raiden. But that doesn't stop this character from being, like, low. Because <laughs> he's just not designed right. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm missing some characters. But in reality, not a lot of characters are designed to mix you up in this game. That's just not how most characters work. Shang also has a high-low. So, he can't be fuzzy. But the thing is... Um, when I say that too, and they don't have an overhead, keep in mind, everybody has an overhead. Nobody ever punishes short hops because people don't be ready, but people have it. So for the most part, if somebody in this game has a, even Shao Kahn has a high low. So for the most part, if you got a high low and a low in this game, you can mix anybody, but you know, it's better to have an overhead string with it because what you're going to get off of a short hop. For the most part. But yeah. That's basically. Everything that you need to know. About fuzzies. Now. Let me pick Sub-Zero. To demonstrate it even more. Now. Why I picked this character. Is because Sub-Zero. Is a perfect way to show off. How you can break somebody's fuzzy. Without having a double low. Or a high low. But it's way more risky. Now. Like I said. Thin Ice has a for sure way to beat it just double low but this variation has another way you can beat it and double lowing is very risky but that's what you got to do to break the fuzzy if you want to consistently now in dead of winter since he doesn't have a double low for him to break your fuzzy since the character matter of fact let me stop since the character has to hold something because this right here, if we look, plus 16, basically means you're holding the next button, whether you like it or not. So Sub-Zero does this right here, plus 16. Now, initially after that, you are going to want to block low, then high. But if Sub-Zero knows you're going to do that, 
he could do this right here. So let's just say he comes up. Boom. Clips you with the overhead. You're like, okay, I don't want to get hit by that no more. So you start blocking low, then high. Then he can just walk up a bit. He can delay the low. That's how you can beat a fuzzy another way. So he could do this right here. Delay it. You see what I mean? But that's more risky because if they know that you're going to try to break the fuzzy that way, they could just press a button if you just delay it. So that also comes at its own risk if you delay it for obvious reasons. So that's another way you can break a fuzzy, but you know, it comes with its own risk. Are you gonna really walk up in somebody's face and try to delay the low? Like, like is somebody really gonna think you're gonna do that? That's one way to break it, but personally, I wouldn't do it because that's honestly just giving your opponent way too much freedom. But people who usually play a mix up play style don't care, so they would do it if they know about it. But yeah, that's basically everything that I have to say about fuzzies. I hope this video taught you what fuzzies are and it is a very important thing to learn how to fuzzy if you're fighting certain characters. But yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Twitch and my Patreon. And Nick Ops out.